Hello guys, I'm Akka at this side. So let's solve today's GFG problem. Count ways to an stair. And this is a very good observational problem. So let's have a read to the problem. It says that there are n stairs and a person standing at the bottom wants to reach the top. And the person can climb either one stairs or two stairs at a time. Count the number of ways the person can reach the top. And the order does, does not matter. This is a very important point in this problem. Otherwise, we all have solved it uh, using that Fibonacci pattern. So let's come to the whiteboard and what I actually want to say. You have all solved that Fibonacci problem. That, uh, and this is if it has given that the number of ways in which we can reach to the top, it is actually equivalent to that Fibonacci one. So let's say I, if I have four, if I have four, so like the number of possible ways it has given for it as 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2. So let's see what are the possible ways. So I can go either one stair or two stair. So I would have gone like, <clears throat> I would take one, I would take two step. Taking one step would have bring me to three and taking two step would have bring me to two. Now, again, I would have taken one step from here, two step from there. So taking one step would have brought me to two and taking two steps would have brought me to one. Again, for this recursive call, I would have taken two one step or two step. The one step call would have brought me to one, but the two step call would have brought me to zero. Now, again, for this, now let me keep it up. So like now for this recursive call, this one has bring me here, but the number two call is not possible because one minus two is already in negative. So I, that means I cannot take two step when only let, let's say you are at the uh, second step and uh, you have to reach the top. So there is only one step. So can you take two steps? You cannot because even when there is only one step above, how can you take two steps? So from here, if you take one step, you actually reach to zero. Okay. So now this also zero. So the further calls are also not. Now come to this problem for here we have one. So from here also this also not from here also you will get one call. So you will come to zero and this call cannot be possible for this two. You can look for one and from here you can look for two. One will bring to your zero and this two also bring you to zero. So now let's look the number of possibilities we gathered one 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 one. I'm talking about this possibility when I take the path with all ones. Now let's take the another path, which is one, 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 and this one, <coughs> sorry, uh, one, 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 and two. Now take this path. I'm taking line by line so that it becomes easier. Now take this path, one, one, two, one, one, two. Now take this path, one, one, two, now they take this path, one, two, one, 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 two, one, sorry, one, two, one. Now take this path we have all taken the, the them so it is one to one one to one again again one two and this is one two two one two two uh sorry not one two two it is actually two two i've counted this one also but eventually this is two two and uh, when i got two it was sorry it was actually two here it was actually two here so it was uh, if i take two okay sorry when I take one here, it has to be one here, and then I have further did the call to one and two, and I have now I have reached to zero. So this one is two one one. This one is two one one. I think this much is clear. And two two. So now, what it says the order does not matter. You are climbing one and two stairs, but if I if we actually see if the order does not matter, then we can see that one one two. 2, 1, 1 and 1, 2, 1 are nothing but mayor permutations of each other. And if order does not matter, that means these should be counted as 1. These should be counted as 1. So that means only 1 is possibility. Again, this 2, 1 possibility. This 1, 1 would be 1 possibility. And how this 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2 came. Okay. This was not, this was not actually because this was the false call. Because this call was not possible. So actually this was not a here. So you can see since 
order does not matter. That means these are permutations of each other. So that's why the answer for this problem is three. Even though we build a recursive tree and we get all possible ways. So given that uh, that Fibonacci type problem that count the number of ways, the answer would be that the sum of all these. But here order does not matter. So now how we can solve this problem? So there is an observation and uh, let's look to the observation. So can I say that one possible case is always that if I have given four, one possible case is always that I took all ones. And one possible case is always if I take all twos. Do you agree with this? That these two possible cases are always to be there. When n is even. When n is actually even. And let's say n is odd now. N is odd. So now can I take this case that 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 is always a possible case. 1, 1, 1, 1 is always a possible case. But now to all twos, but now all twos cannot be a possible case. These all twos, this one cannot be a possible case here. Like I cannot take two two because I have to include one. So this all twos cannot be a possible case. So I think till now the things are clear. And since when we do did this thing here, can you actually see that uh, this problem is actually like the number of twos here in both problems, the number of twos are one only. The number of twos are one and the rest are ones. So had we think the problem in a way, we take this first case. I take this first case that when n is even, so these are the mere possibilities that I can take all twos and I can take all ones. And if it is odd, only this possibility is possible that I have I would have taken all ones. Now come to the problem. So can you think that uh, the number of cases which is now disturbing the problem is when I have to take when I have to take one as one and twos together. The problem which we are getting is now boiled down that the taking number of ones and twos together because here these are the cases when I have to take all ones and this is the case when I have to take all twos. So the problem now we have to solve how we can actually choose or how we can actually make a way in which one and two comes together. Okay. So if this much is fine and now if you get to know that yes this is the only case which is disturbing for us can we actually think in a way because like even though if I have one two one and two one two uh, sorry two one one they both are same and why they both are same because the count of twos and the count of ones is equal in both the cases that means if the count would be equal then that possibility is repeated and that means we need to somehow uh, come up with a possibility in which the counts of ones and twos differs. That means I cannot take in which twos count is also equal and the other orientation the twos count is also equal. So these two cases are never possible because the equivalence uh, the number of twos and ones count. That means a possibility in which I have to choose one and two as together that means if in first orientation my number of twos count is one in the next orientation I should have taken a case where number of twos count is greater than the previous one. Are you getting it? That because number of twos count and ones count are getting same count. So if I have to make other orientation valid if I have to make let's say if I have to make this orientation a valid one a valid then it should be differ from the previous one in some by some means either one's count should be different either two's count of should be different so now can i actually think in a way okay because i have to uh, somehow put one and two can i think in a way okay let's say i am taking zeros i am taking zero two and rest are one okay we have to form four okay can I take zero twos and the rest are one? So if I take the rest are one, this is one possibility. Now, can I say I am taking one two, I am taking one two and the rest are one and the remainings are one. So if I take one two, so the remaining gap I would be having is four minus two. So I will be having two ones. 
now i say can i take two twos can i take two twos so now if i take two twos this will form me four and the remaining one will be zero so the possibility that we get is not actually this only one 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 two one one two two so did you observe something that we can actually make our work easier if we focus on how we can differ these ones and twos count or like so in this case i thought of okay if in one orientation i am taking one count as one then the next orientation i should be take twos count as there's some different some different because then i know that these two orientations would be different these two orientations would be different so now let's take if i take five one case is always we know one 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 but this case would have also come when i would take i will take zero twos and rest are ones if i take one two if i take one two and the rest are one if i take two twos and the rest are one and if i take four twos four twos is never possible because four twos means six and that we cannot take so the problems boil down how we can take number of ones and twos now some of you thinking that we thought of that if i take number of twos number of twos why we take that we will take these number of twos and rest are ones and why not in this way these number of ones and rest twos okay why we didn't thought of this because let's say <clears throat> i have to come up i take one one and let's say it is it was actually odd five let's say i take one one and that means i have to take rest twos i have to take rest twos so now since four is coming so actually i can take four by two twos now i say okay i will take two ones so if i take two ones and i will say the remaining count is what three so i can take three by two that means one one and two twos that gives me four and another one is actually remaining that means i fix some number of ones and i said the remaining ones would be two but still i have to put one more one to make it five why because this never was a perfect division look at again i said if i fix the number of ones so i fix that i will take two number of like i take two ones and the rest would be the rest count i'm getting three so three by two only one two can accommodate so one one two now i am still re remaining with one that means this case is never possible that i can take two ones i have to take three ones and one two i have to take three ones and one two so this is making our job difficult because if i have because even though i want to fix two ones i cannot because in this case i have to take three because one was the remainder so now you can understand that fixing twos would be better for us so now come to the code part and i will explain you that what is uh, i am actually trying to say but if you have watched till here i think you have actually built the intuition that what was i am actually trying to say <clears throat> so let's say if my n n is odd if my n is odd we know that 5 so 1 1 1 1 case is always there so can i say that yes my integer weight is equals to 0 and i can actually say okay yes plus plus weight okay now if my n is odd that means i have 4 so we can actually take 2 2 also and 1 1 1 also can i actually say okay this time else if it, it is odd my ways would have become plus is equals to 2 plus is equals to 2 now i say that we will fix some amount of twos so let's say i run from i is equals to 1 i less than n and plus plus i now let's say uh this would be like long long occupied by 2 occupied by 2 so we know we are taking i number of twos we are taking i number of twos so if i am taking two twos then it will occupy four space this thing is very much clear occupied by 2 and we also know that the remaining the remaining would be n minus occupied by 2 because this is nothing but the space which is occupied by 1 did you get this part yes now can i actually say that if occupied by 2 plus remaining remaining is equals to equals to n 
can I say that increment my wage? And can I say return wage? So did we cover all possibilities? Yes, we will cover all possibilities because two one, the rest should be one. There will be now two twos and the rest will be one. This makes sure this orientation and this orientation would be different. Why we are fixing two and why we cannot fix one, I have already taught you. So now you will see, do we have to uh, run it till end? Do we have to run it till end? Because if I would have run it till end four, this will actually become eight. So can we have, do we want eight? We actually don't want eight. We actually want n by four. The maximum tools I can fit is actually n by four. So, sorry, not n by four. The maximum tools we can fit is n by two. That means, because if it is four, four by two is two. The maximum tools I can fit is I can be up to two. So that means I can be equals to only n by two. I think this is clear. And now this is remaining one. And can I say now that this is the exact same thing. And if I run this, if I run this, do we get the answer? Okay, we are getting your output is four and we are getting three. So, okay, I am actually not taking this uh, and, and one case now. And I will explain you why I'm not taking this. And let's make it zero. Because, okay, let's take them and I explain it around you. When I say n is odd, okay, so I took one already. And since it is running from one, it is running from one. For this case, n is four and the cases that it has calculated is 1 is 2, 2, 1 is 2, 2, and other is 1, 1, 1, 1. So, 1, 2, 2 case is already counted here. That means, and at in this loop also, at once, it would be number of 1, 2s uh, would, 2s, like taking 2 step is 2. So, 2, 2, two count have also covered it here. So, can I actually do, can I actually say, if I take i is equals to 0, then I would have also covered these cases. Like say, if I have five, then this means I am taking zero twos and rest are ones. So this is covered. And if it is six, I can actually say, okay, I am taking zero twos, all are ones. So this case is covered. And here we are actually adding two. This was the case when I'm taking all twos. So that case is also covered. So let me make the case we are dealing there, let's make it from zero. That means it will cover zero twos also, one twos also, two twos also, till n by two, because that is the number of maximum number of twos we can have. So now let's run this. And we are getting three three. Let's make it summit. And let's say if we don't get it, we can get long long. I forgot to take long long. Uh, we get lucky. But ideally, this should also be long long. It, it runs because actually that uh, it is up to one in six only. And since it is depending on number of two, so ways will never get out of the bound. So this is working. Now we actually get it that it is actually getting into the number of twos because I thought that one, one is all the case and two, two, two is always the case. And the thing that can differ them is putting one and two accordingly. And I focused on keeping fixed one, fixed twos, one, two, second, two, third, two. That means it is actually depending on n by 2. It is actually depending on, oh sorry, n by 2. That means the number of 2s I can fix. So now can I say that it is actually depending on number of 2s. That means number of 2s. How many number of 2s I can put? 1 2s, 2 2s, 3 2s, 4 2s. So for this case, 4 by 2 is 2. Because we can actually put 1 2 and 2 2s. And this I put. And one case I said, because these are the number of cases where I can put all two and then one case would always be there because when I was doing n and one, I was doing plus plus ways. We take the case when I'm taking zero twos, that means all are ones, all are one. So this case, I have to admire it here. That's why it would be n by two number of twos because this would take care. This n by two is taking care one, two, 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 three, two, four, two in this fashion, but it will never encounter zero when i would have zero twos that for loop is helping me from running from zero to n plus two then i don't need this plus one but here since this n by two let's say it is four so four by two is two it is actually calculating the case when i have one two and when i have two twos so that one 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 case is not coming 
So all ones case for this, I have to write this. And that's how this is actually a one liner. So the session is expired. Okay, I'm not like logging again. So that this is, this will work because I've already told you the intuition why this will work. Because we are actually depending on the number of tools we can fix. So this is all about the video. Time complexity for the prior approach also was n by two. You can say it has order of n only for the prior one where I built up the intuition. And for this one, you can say it has constant. Space complexity is also constant for both the approaches. So that's all about the video. And I hope you get the intuition because I, I can understand my, many of you have seen the solution that how this n by two is coming. For that, I actually tell you that the problem is actually how we can put these one and two together efficiently. So fixing one is helping us. So thank you and knock at the side.